All right, so we're moving right along here in uh, these uh, Python tutorials, and uh, we got Python three installed. We got uh, we figured out how to access the terminal and the Python interpreter. We got a text editor installed. Now the only thing that's left to do is write some programs. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we get started, I want you to create a folder on your desktop called Programs. So right click new folder, I right click again to rename it, and but I said program so. Yeah, programs, and this is where we're going to store all our programs. All right, so that that stays on the desktop, and we'll go ahead and open our text editor. Now, in this program, um, what how I like to approach this is I think of an um, a reason why we are going to create this piece of software because if you think about it, every piece of software is created for a reason. There's a problem, like uh, for example, this text editor. We need a way to write code. So that's our problem. We didn't have a way to write code, so they created a text editor for us. Awesome. So that's how we're going to approach it and then try to think our way through building the program. All right. So we're, we, in this tutorial, want to print a message to the terminal. So our problem is we need to print a message to the terminal. How do we do that? All right. So if you think about it, we need a message. We need a way to display it. All right. So that's our two issues that we need to uh, find solutions to. So in your text editor, hit command new or file down to new folder and then command S. And we're going to save this to your programs folder, which I'm already in. And we're going to save it as tutorial1.py. And the doc, oh, I'm sorry, I thought that was on the screen. Uh, tutorial1.py. Now the POI is uh, important. That indicates it's a Python file. So the interpreter will be able to read this file. So make sure you got the uh, .py and go ahead and save it. Now that we have this file, uh, we need to write some code. So first thing I want to do is write a comment explaining what this does, what this program is going to do. This way, when you come back later on, you know, a couple months down the road and say, what the heck was tutorial1.py? As soon as you open it up, there's going to be a little comment up here that says, hey, this is what it is. So to make a comment, it's hashtag or pound sign. And we're just going to say, uh, prints message to terminal. There you go. All right. So it prints a message to the terminal. Now, a comment is uh, skipped over by the interpreter, does not spit this out anywhere on the screen so it's good to use um, comments in your code it explains what your code is like this one explains what this program is going to do uh, later on when we start writing more complex programs we'll be able to explain what the code actually does and that'll help you come back in uh, your debugging process or updating the software it, it helps so trust me use a lot of comments all right even in this course take my take notes so um, when we're going through it, you can, you know, use comments to take notes what the code is doing. All right, sweet. <clears throat> so we talked about we need a message, and we need a way to display the message. So let's first create a message. All right. So what I'm going to do is create a message, and this message is going to say, "Hello, world." All right. Oops. And an exclamation. Hello world, that's going to be our message that we're going to print to the terminal. And if any of you guys ever try to learn any other programming language, you can tell I'm very creative. So, hello world, um, it's pretty standard in programming tutorials. So we got to print this out, all right? So what we want to do is make this a string. How do we make it a string? Well, we can either put single quote on uh, either side of the word all right, so single quote on either side, or we can put double quotes, or we could actually put triple quotes, but we'll use double quotes in this case. All right, so this is a string in Python. All right, and what a string is, is a immutable, which means the string cannot be changed once it's created, a sequence of characters. All right, so a sequence. So this is all a sequence, and this actually has a um, index number, so this would be zero, this would be one, this would be two, this would be three. 
and we'll take a look at that in, in a, another program. But just for you to know, it's important to know that it's immutable, so it can't be changed once it's created, and it's in the sequence, all right? So awesome, we got our string here, but this string by itself right here does not do anything. If we try to run this program, it, Python's gonna say, what the heck is that? <clears throat> so what we wanna do is kind of put this back into memory on our computer, but we need a way to access it. And we access it with a variable. So we're gonna call this variable message, all right? <clears throat> Sorry. So our variable's message. It's our pointer, it's our uh, representative of this string, hello world. And the way we indicate that we want message to be the representative of hello world is with its space and an equal sign, which is called an assignment operator. It assigns a uh, message to represent hello world, all right? So message in theory does not actually store um, hello world, all right? All it's doing is pointing. So if you wanna think of this assignment operator here as a point to this in its location in the computer's memory, then that's what it's doing. Awesome, so we got our message and we're gonna say hello world, all right? And this is our variable, and this is how we're going to access this message. Awesome. <clears throat> now that we figure out our problem uh, with message, how what's our message? Uh, we got to figure out how we're going to display it on the terminal. Now, um, you could pause this video and go to python.org and look up a way to uh, display text on the terminal. But that just sounds a little uh, far-fetched for our first program. So I'm gonna tell you about uh, this built-in function in Python called print. Now what print does is returns uh, whatever we put inside the argument of the, uh, the print function, then we can um, print that out to the terminal. So what is the print function? The print function looks like this, all right? So it says, print and then you got the parentheses on either side all right so whatever is on the inside it's gonna print it so we could either do something like this print hello world and it will print hello world on the terminal but I don't like putting strings in here because I like to make my programs dynamic that means later on if I wanted to uh, change the message that I'm sending down here to the print, then putting hello world in here is always gonna be the same. It's not gonna be dynamic, so I don't like that. What I could do is put message in here. All right, sweet. Now we know message points to hello world. Now I can tell you when we run it, message is gonna print hello world. All right, so awesome. What we did was we created our message and we figured out a way to send a message to the terminal. So let's go ahead and run this program and see how it works. Open up your terminal. Make this up so big every time. All right. What we need to do is get to our programs folder. So if we go ls, and this lists out all our, our location, I see desktop. We put the program file in desktop, so we can go cd desktop, and then programs, all right? And that's gonna take us to the programs file. Now, if you list out your programs file, you're gonna see a tutorial1.py, all right? There is our file. Now, the way to run this is we can do Python 3, all right? Tutorial1.py, all right? Now, before I do that, I wanna show you what would happen if you did Python 2 or use the Python 2, because that's already on a Mac. Uh, if you just type Python and then tutorial1.py and run it, it still prints a low world, all right? And that's because all the syntax in here is the same on Python 2 currently, all right? Now, down the road when we're writing programs, we're gonna run into an issue with that. So make sure you use Python 3, so we're all on the same page. So Python 3, tutorial.py of tutorial1.py 
and we'll run our program again and it prints hello world see there's no difference so there you go you create your first program in Python awesome you guys did great work check back for our next tutorial uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing yet but we'll build another cool program I know this one was kind of lame but hey you gotta start somewhere right I'll see you in the next one